Hi everyone, welcome to episode 5 of the Race to Dakar 2020 with Team Races to Places. before we head off to the port so nothing we can do other than uh, try and get one get it shipped over to Africa and fix it at the other side we've got to go and get on the ferry this morning so the organization have been really great we're trying to get the van on one of the, the, the trucks and then uh, we'll worry about the rest of the other side Super helpful. Um, they're getting one of the trucks to take our van uh, to the ferry so that we can get over to Africa. We need to get the spare parts and get the van fixed. But, um, this is Anthony Schlesser, John Louis Schlesser's son from the organisation, and super helpful. Really nice. Oh man, you know when you when you haven't even hit the ferry yet, and you're seeing the sweeper truck, things are not good. So why don't you take? Wait a bit, Dad. That's it. Hi. Yeah. Sorry. Books and souls, I got to make you bitter. Yeah, yeah. Right a bit, Dad. I didn't anticipate the service vehicle going on the valley. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Tony's got to go in in the van on the way to the park. Tony, you uh, you're gonna be okay in the van on the back of the the sweeper truck? I don't ever want to go on the back of a sweeper truck. All right, but I'm gonna wear a helmet, right? <laughs> last time in a sweet trip, dude. Make it sure it's the last time. <laughs> <laughs> the last time, yeah. This is uh, Peter, the, the driver of the sweep truck that's got us to the ferry with the service van and my bike inside the service van. We were just busy trying to get everything sorted. We managed to get here. <laughs> We're gonna get on the ferry and we need to find some parts for the service van. Everything else has gone on hold until we get that sorted out. <laughs> Looking for parts in Morocco now. And then the guys will fix it at the first bivouac. That's the plan. The organization have agreed to uh, have agreed to take it for us with you. We've agreed to take the service vehicle to the first bivouac, which is awesome. Been really helpful. Finally managed to shake off Lyndon, man. Yeah, that's it. You know, he's been following us around the whole time, and it's, uh, it's just a little bit weird, if we're being honest. 
Um, you know, every time people are coming up to us wanting photos with us and he's trying to get in the photos all the time and things, it's, <laughs> it's not great, you know, but we've, uh, we've shook him off now, so now we're free to, to go racing in Africa. You got to go in <laughs> to get out Can I sleep next to you? Can I serve you all through? You're outlandish And perfectly cool I thought I'd share with you the service vehicle. Seven in the bed and the little one said. Roll over! Roll over! <laughs> Ow! Look at you being there. Someone's Hold touching you. me! Don't touch me! Cozy, huh? Yeah? I'm not drunk this time finding my hotel room. <laughs> oh, someone's already in. Mike Johnson. He's got the biscuits out. Look at this, Mike Johnson's got the biscuits out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. MJ's in the house. This is living. Uh, we're all on the boat, so we're going to leave Italy here. We just crossed the border from France into Italy. Um, I didn't expect to do it on a sweeper truck. It's uh, my first time on a sweeper truck. I've already said this on camera. But it's my first time on a sweeper truck, and I hope it's my last time. Um, so we've got all the bikes are on board, all the service vehicles and media vehicles on board. One of the vans is on the back of a sweep truck, but we're making a plan to try and get the parts to fix it. And uh, that's all part of the adventure, so it's all good. At the moment, the team are in good spirits, everyone's, uh, everyone's seeing the humorous side of this, so we just gotta get through it. our roadblocks for the first stage. It's a big liaison and a short special test. And um, the guys are already getting tucked into their roadblocks over here. Yeah. <laughs> Legende. Give me five. First, give me five. Okay, well, Hey. Oh, film. Hey. That junction will be 170 from there. Yeah. What's he saying? Just sat here listening to some tunes, reading the books. All the information for the Africa race. This has got everything. It's 
that numbers, previous winners, service crew names and numbers, every single stage details, everything you need to know about this rally is in this one little booklet here. What's funny is I'm like falling asleep here doing this with everything over the past months and past days. I'm just like so tired sat reading this book. I'm gonna get a good night's sleep tonight on the boat. I'm getting excited to go racing. I can't wait to get on my bike now. So I just got into bed here on the ferry and uh, decided to get an early night. It's about eight o'clock. But I'm totally shattered after all the preparation and then the troubles with the van this morning and having to get that here on the boat and trying to sort all the parts out for that, which we still haven't sorted out. We've got a few people, it's Monday tomorrow, a few people looking for those part numbers in Africa. And if we can get them, we're good to go. So for now, I'm gonna be like, lights out and uh, hope to get a good sort of 10 hours sleep really because last night was three hours and then what with everything today it's been pretty exhausting all right folks see you in the morning Race day, baby! Yeah! <laughs> they call me crazy because I'm facing racing. <laughs> They try to scare me into thinking I can't fight it. They tell me I should never even think of trying. But that's just me, I'm gonna live out in the fight. Just heading down to get the bike. Hey, it's pretty hectic man, the bike's not starting and it's all like go go, everything's rushing out, guys are heading out and stuff and we need to be out there, but uh, we're going to make a plan, we got this, easy game. Quick disconnect, you know we were moving the bikes around a lot and uh, the quick disconnect had just slightly come undone so he's good to go now, he's got all dirty leaves of fuel. Running now, it looks like it was uh, just the fuel switch was halfway between front and back tank, so it wasn't getting power to either. Silly little thing, ready to race. Does anybody know where the transit is? My uh, my baggage is in the van that's up on the org vehicle. Can't find it. We don't know where it is, so I can't even start getting suited up yet. So uh, hopefully it'll be here soon. Keeping my fingers crossed. A bit hectic, isn't it? <laughs> Hands are too tight. Still looking for the sprinter to get my gear bag. We haven't located it. We're concerned that the org vehicle may have taken off down the road with my gear inside. It's a bit carnage, everyone's trying to get ready to go, but um, 
a little bit stressful because we've got to go, we've got to get gone and we're not been able to start and oh, it's just like got to get everything gone. My start time is almost here and I'm not even ready yet. So as you can see, we've found the transit. Uh, we've now got Mike's gear. The rest of the riders have gone through. Mike's just getting dressed and he'll go through, put his bag in the sprinter. Away we go, we'll see the transit of the first bivouac. All right, well, we're finally here. Um, Mike's found the van, got his gear back and uh, stress over. They delayed the start for one hour, so uh, it's 8 o'clock start, so 10 minutes time. I'm going and it's the start of the Africa race 2020. <laughs> Finally here! Yeah! Ready to go!